Hello and welcome to the 74th tutorial in the C++ program series and in this part we're going to be looking at class headers and implementation files. Up till now we have been creating classes within the main.cpp which is fine for the purpose of these tutorials but when you create large replications they should be separated into header and implementation files. A file with the .h extension is the header file and a file with the .cpp extension is the implementation file. If you notice, the main file is called main.cpp, as I did mention before, and this is a implementation file. Okay, so what we're going to do is just go into here, open up our project, and we're going to create a header and an implementation file first. So what we're going to do is right click, new file. So we're going to create a header file. In Visual Studio, it has obviously its own system. It's not too difficult. If you don't know, you can Google it or message us via YouTube or comment on this video. And for this file, we're just going to call it extra class. Uh, we need to provide the target, which is basically our application. Click Create. What is great uh, about Visual Studio, oh, sorry, I'm going off on one here. Should be doing this tutorial, sorry about that. Uh, right click again, and now we're going to create the implementation file, which is the CPP, so this one right here. And for this, we're just going to put extra class. Note, we don't actually have to put the extension here at all, we just put the name and then it puts the extension itself. So what we want to do, go to our extra class .h and we want to first of all do a preprocessor check. So we're going to do hash if not defined and this can be whatever you want. Just basically don't use it again this definition and what we recommend is and what a lot of other places would recommend as well is doing like on two underscores the name of your class separated you separate each word by an underscore and then at the end underscore two underscores so when this file is first loaded first included it checks if not defined extra class if it isn't defined then what you do is define extra class then you can just do hash and if and the contents of this file the entire contents will go within here and you might think why are you doing this the reason we're doing this, and we're illustrating once we've actually done all the code, or what the, what the actual benefit of this is in real terms, but the reason we're doing this, if you include a file, and you include it again straight after, you've included the file twice, obviously. This will prevent the contents from being included twice, because if the contents are included again, you can't have a class with the same name. Obviously, you can have it within different namespaces, but that's uh, not the purpose of this tutorial. If you have a class with uh, the name extra class, like we have, if you have two classes with that name, the compiler doesn't know which one you'll be referring to, so you can only have one unique class name. Same with um, variables as well and methods. And so this will prevent the application or the file from including this file twice, which is pretty cool. And in here we're just going to create a class. So extra class. It's going to be a really simple class public extra class do void print function create a variable into i and now what we're going to do is actually implement our extra class cpp and first of all we're just going to do hash include and then we're going to do quotation marks the reason we're doing quotation marks is because it's a custom file and what we're going to include is extra class dot h we're going to be implementing all of these basically the method and the constructor within this separate file instead of doing it within the one file and we're also going to do hash include this is unnecessary this just de depends on the functionality of your application do io stream we're going to be printing some stuff out so we need it first of all we're going to implement our Constructor, so I'm going to do extra class, colon, colon, extra class. And in here, we're going to set i to 0 by default. It's good to initialize your variables. Then we're going to do void. 
f2 class print function stdc out print and line just need to spell c out correctly and um, that is the extra class implementation done so what we can do now is go to our main .cpp so wherever we want to use this class we just do hash include and then we do quotation marks again because we created the class and it's not a library file and then we can just do extra class h you don't need to include the cpp you just do the header which is great and now in here what we can do is just create a object X class we'll call it EC. We'll do EC dot print function. We'll do EC dot I equals ninety. We'll do STD C out EC dot I STD and line. Now if we run this, we get print from printed out, which is from here, and we get I printed out. As 90 because we set it to 90 here before we printed it yeah. out. Another great thing about separating it is imagine if we had several CPP files, which in an application we probably would. If we had several files, instead of creating that class or duplicating a generic class in every single file, you can just include it. And if you need to make a change in here, maybe add a bit more functionality, new function, you just change in here and it propagates throughout all the other files that this extra class or any class has been included in and therefore you can use all this new and updating and change functionality. Before we go we're just going to demonstrate this right here why we need this. We talked about it but let's just demonstrate it. So let's just copy and paste this, run it, it runs fine. But if I were to remove these two lines, the, the key line here is this but I will remove both of the lines for now and run it. We have build file and the build file is redefinition of extra class. But if we were to just remove one of these and run it, build succeed because we've only got one extra class. But if we put this back in, it fails because we've essentially, or what the compiler is seeing is this. That's what they'll be seeing in the compiler world. So he's looking at it thinking the an extra class, A OK. Uh, and then he looks down here, and then there's, well, another extra class. Sorry about that notification. Yeah, and then there's another extra class. So which one's the right one? So what you want to make sure is you have these in every class header that you create. You don't need to put in the CPP, just a header. Obviously, make sure these hash defines are different and these checks are different because that also can cause issues as well if you accidentally forget to change the name because what you'll probably end up doing is when you're creating load the classes you'll maybe copy and paste an existing class potentially and then just change the name and change a few things that you need to change in there and you might forget to change the hash define we do sometimes and that causes some errors so just make sure you change that in the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at lists. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the recordings for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.